Hello everyone, welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog. I'm starting it out and about. So, it's Saturday. I got back from Austria last night at about seven o'clock. I feel, feel like I haven't had any time to rest, but I was up early this morning. And um, good news, the offer that my, me and my friends put on for a flat last week was accepted when I was in Austria. I'm so excited. It's honestly gonna be the nicest place I've ever lived apart from my parents' house. I cannot wait to show you guys it and do loads of moving content. Um, the place is incredible. It's a, it's quite a bit more expensive than I'm paying now, but it's gonna be worth it because I've got loads of room, a whole house with a garden. I'm gonna be living with two really good friends. It's just gonna be nice to live with two people that I really get on with and that I feel like I can talk to. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. This lighting is so bad. I had to go and drop my passport off at the estate agents this morning to start the whole process of moving like all the forms and all that um, and now I'm meeting up with my family and one of my good friends Sophie we're gonna be doing the big London bake I did this with soap and glory during vlogmas last year but it's basically like being on the bake-off I'm so excited I cannot wait to show you guys it's just behind me in that tent there but I'm just waiting for everyone with the latte now here we are we're at the big London bake and I've just seen that we're making a French fruit tart with which I've never made before. This should be interesting. What flavour are we making? We're making almond, vanilla and cinnamon pastry. Delicious. And we're going to do a blueberry cup tart in our custard tart. This sounds so good. <laughs> My parents are there. <laughs> what flavour are you doing? Berry and Well 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Look at all of these. I absolutely love this one. Chocolate one looks great. That one looks really professional. And where's our little chocolate one? Oh, that's so cute. We have an almond and vanilla base with a blueberry jus <laughs> and a, one of your five a day with a vanilla custard. Yeah. So your little tart is notoriously neat, my love. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so let everybody else one. I love your one. But two, it's nice around the top edges. It's a little bit thicker at the bottom. It could have done with a minute or two more. We've okay. got some great flavors going through. So I see quite a lot of spice in it. It's really, really subtle. It's really nice. So it's like a whole lot of sugar and then some warm spices on. Oh. It's really great, my darling. Thank so, you. Good job, my lovies. So I'm home now, it's six o'clock. Took ages to get home, the amount of traffic there was. And then as soon as I got home, I decided to go and do a food shop. So I've just got back from that. I'm gonna quickly show what I've got because I haven't in ages spoken about food. Um, you might be able to notice that my skin's really breaking out at the moment and I think that's because I've been having a lot of dairy and my hormones just seem to be a bit all over the place at the moment. It's really getting me down because um, I'm really worried my acne is coming back again but I've got a really good skincare regime in place so I'm hoping that that will sort it out. I'm also going to try and cut down on as much dairy as possible. So yeah, I'm going to quickly show you what I've got. I've, I'm also going to be vegetarian this week, well pescatarian I'm going to be and I'm going to try and be really healthy. I am out quite a lot next week actually I've got a load of like events and work things but I'm going to try not to drink too much either because I think I have been drinking alcohol non-stop recently and that's probably not helping this so yeah I've got two bags of salad because I want to make myself have a lot of salad I've got little apples for a salad with some goat's cheese as I said, I mean, this is a tiny amount. I don't think it's going to do anything bad for me. I think it's more cow's milk that my body doesn't like. They had no broccoli, so I had to get these. And then it was three for two on veg. So I got mixed vegetable medley, broccoli, and butternut squash and sweet potato for, like, dinners and salads and stuff. I got two soups, butternut squash and, oh, vegetable. I got some eggs. got some hot sauce. Blueberries for snacks and breakfast. I got king prawns and salmon for lunches and dinners. I got a small loaf of oat and barley farmhouse bread. I do I do fancy an egg an egg sandwich at the moment. Uh, I got some oat milk and I did also naughtily get some Pepsi Max for when I am feeling cheeky. I'm gonna put this all away, chill out in my room a bit. I need to unpack for my trip. Um, so I'm going to do that now, probably put a wash on and then I'm going to make some dinner. It's all going to be unhealthy, probably not going to be healthy tonight. I kind of want to save this for in the week. So tonight I'm going to have a look in my freezer. For dinner I've made myself an apple and goat's cheese salad and I've reheated some um, red Thai curry that I had left over from last night with some lime and coriander rice. It is half past ten. I'm going to go to sleep now because I'm exhausted. Um, I've just had a nice evening, kind of just sorting my life out, watching Love Island. It's Father's Day today and we've got a fun day of activities planned for my dad. We're starting off at Junkyard Golf Club. I've never been here before, but it's so cool. I can imagine a first date here would be so much fun. They've got loads of different like courses, but we're going to be doing the Bruce one. I don't even know if you can hear me, it's so loud in here. Dad is up first. This guy. <laughs> Go, Daddy. Whoa. So I've just realised that they're all films. So this is Jurassic Park. This is Jaws. Um, this one's scary. Very scary. And we're currently playing Jabba the Putt. <laughs> So funny! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't want to boast, but I think I've found a new talent. I found a new talent. I'm really good at mini golf. Really good. I 
shop. My dad's in heaven. He loves the vinyl. Um, my friends that I'm moving in with has a vinyl player, so I'm finally going to be able to play my one when we get to live together, which I'm really excited about. Loving life. <laughs> He's looking at the like pop punk 80s bit. We're just strolling down the Brick Lane Market. So they've got so many amazing like food stalls. I want it smells so good. I want everything. We have a restaurant booking in an hour, so we're going to just find somewhere to sit and have a drink for an hour and then head there. We have come up for lunch at a restaurant called Shrut and Cluck. What is this? Lebanese? Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Yeah. Middle Eastern restaurant, but the most beautiful day for this. I really like this as well. I want my house to look like this. Lots of plants. This is mine. It's a butternut squash and aubergine like quiche thing. Then we've got loads of different this for my dad. It all looks very healthy. I feel like I can't talk. It's Monday. It's Monday half past 12. Um, oh, my skin. I'm so upset. Honestly, so upset at my skin at the moment. It's just horrendous i'm thinking about maybe booking another doctor's appointment because this should not be happening after nine months of roaccutane i got up really early this morning i've got loads to do and i was just feeling really inspired to work because i haven't been able to because i was away last week i was feeling really motivated to like get up early and do loads of work today um, and work's going very well I've got loads done already washed my hair this evening it's the gleam summer party um last year we went to canterbury we actually went to my wedding venue for the party and it was amazing it was like a festival but this year it's a lot more chilled we're just going to a hotel in london somewhere just for like cocktails and stuff it'll be really nice um i got i had an asos order come this morning so i need to decide what to wear first i just want to get loads of work done and um, we're going to make some lunch now i feel like i can't talk today i don't really know what's happening to me lunch has been made one of the things i learned at the pure skin camp last week was all about kind of nutrition for your skin like what food is best and what you should have on your plate to make your skin better so i think i've done pretty well today it said like three quarters of your plate should be vegetables and um, and there's like this is piled high so i've got butternut squash sweet potato broccoli just loads of veg i've got some salmon which i roasted with sesame oil garlic and a tiny bit of honey and then i've got some rice as well this looks so good so i've done my makeup i haven't put any lipstick on that yet though um but i thought i'd try in a couple of the dresses that i bought from asos one of these i would like to wear tonight to the party but not this one like they're not all for that this is more like a summer one but i wanted to show you it anyway because it's so cute it's a gorgeous bardo neckline gingham maxi dress kind of like what would you call this midi maxi um it's quite low on me but i think on normal people it would be a nicer length but i really like this it's really nice and like fitted but definitely not for like a cocktail party i don't think more of like a picnic dress let me know what you think i'll leave a link for all of these down below i really like this but it's a little bit too baggy for me which is a shame and um, they didn't have my size in so i had to get a 10 and it's just a little bit like loose around here but it's so cute i might have to repurchase in a smaller size if they get it back in stock really easy to wear you could dress it up or down okay so this is the one i was most looking forward to i bought this a couple of months ago but they didn't do it in my size so when i saw last night that it was back in stock I was really happy it's just a really simple plain like tight fitting midi dress with these humongous sleeves which i absolutely love and the bardo neckline um yeah i love this i'm a bit uh, self-conscious about the sleeves they are humongous and i've never really worn anything like it but i do really like this it's a definite contender for this evening this is so cute but again i think a little bit too big for me oh i'm so sad this would have been really cute. Also, what is this? They've like put on something, but you can't return it if you remove that bit random. But yeah, I really like this. Just too, like, way too baggy. Okay, I absolutely love this, but I think it's more like holiday appropriate rather than summer party appropriate. It's a jumpsuit all in one, but it has these really wide legs and a cropped bit at the front. So it looks almost like a two piece from the front 
but it is an all-in-one the only thing that um, worries me about this is that it would be pain to go to the toilet because this zip is quite like hard to open and then the legs aren't that flattering especially on me because i'm so short i don't know what do you think whilst i was trying all those on i had to knock at the door and it's this is to celebrate the launch of the new oceans 8 film which i'm so excited about i absolutely love the oceans films <laughs> it's literally all biscuits i'm so happy i love biscuits they look like biscuitiers as well yum i am all ready to go now i have gone for this dress um i've decided to go crazy and try going out for the first ever time with the middle parting um i've just put sunglasses on now to kind of keep it in place because my hair's not used to being in like this direction so my fringe <laughs> as soon as i go outside i bet it's gonna go whoop but um yeah i'm gonna try it and we'll see what the reaction is like tonight <laughs> I'm at the party, we're having a group photo. Oh, okay. Sorry! <laughs> Another green party. Every year I think I'm not gonna do this. I'm trying not to do a speech this year. Do it! Um, <laughs> Oh, my God. 